here in question number 11 a particle p starts from rest from x equal to 0 at t is equal to 0 and moves along positive x axis with a constant acceleration at the same instant at t is equal to 0 itself particle q passes through x equal to 0 moving along the positive x direction with a constant velocity if xp t and xq t represent position of p and q at time t then most appropriate graph for xq minus xp as a function of time is simply we need to write down how the variation of position of these two particles from x equal to 0 it's already been given at t is equal to 0 the particle starts from here and the particle p moves along positive x direction with constant acceleration let this is the position of p at any time i would say x p t must be equal to 1 by 2 a t square a being a constant that is the acceleration here and for the q this is for the q it's moving along positive x direction with the constant velocity i would say x q t must be equal to p into t now we need to find out x q minus x p x q minus x p that is the difference of these two position it is v t minus 1 by 2 it is where you are very much aware of this kind of equation it is the parabolic equation where at t the position x will be starting from 0 here and it will reach to a maximum value and again falls back to the negative direction here. so looking onto the option option 3 is correct answer for the question number 11 now let's proceed to question number 12 in question number 12 the acceleration time graph of a particle moving in a straight line is shown. The velocity of the particle at t is equal to 0 is 10 meter per second. The velocity at t is equal to 6 second is. I'll start with the graph itself. So, this is the base here, height here, base here, and at t is equal to 6 second this is 4 seconds so here it will be 6 second this is 80 graph so area under the graph will give us the change in velocity this is a positive change this is the negative change first i need to find out overall change in velocity it is 1 by 2 base is 4 height is 5 and this portion for this portion it is the negative minus 1 by 2 base here is 2 and this depth will be 5 by 2 clearly change in velocity it is 10 minus 5 by 2 or it is 7.5 meter per second already initial velocity at t is equal to 0 was 10 meter per second so the velocity at t is equal to 6 second it will be v is initial velocity that is 10 and further change in velocity is 7.5 so final answer is 17.5 meter per second is the final velocity at t is equal to 6 seconds so question number 12 we are having option 4 as the correct answer now let's take on to question number 13 in question number 13 a motor boat going downstream in a river overtook a small raft at point p it turned back 90 minutes later and after some time pass the raft at a distance of 12 km from the point P. Assuming the speed of the motor boat with respect to the river is constant, the speed of the river is. Well, slight elaboration for this question. Right, this was the point initially and uh, the motor boat, it just crosses the raft at the point. It moves along the direction and after 90 minutes, that means 3 by 2 hours it turns back and it comes along the direction in between the same time the raft is moving along the direction actually it is floating along the direction with the velocity of the river itself and it meets here and this distance that's been given to be 12 km if this turning the time for which the boat actually has turned if it is t hour then the total time of motion for the boat would be 3 by 2 plus t and the total time of motion for the raft is also the same what i would say here here for the motion of raft it is floating with the velocity of u that is the river speed 
and let's say v is the speed of boat then i would say u into 3 by 2 plus t that is 12 kilometer here and for the boat this 12 plus this velocity that means from here to here u plus 3 by 2 plus t plus along the direction it is v minus u into t this distance plus this distance must be equal to from here to here it is v plus u into 3 by 2 so just solving this question I will have 3u by t plus ut plus vt minus ut is 3 by 2v plus 3 by 2u well these two portions will cancel out and here this one will also cancel out so what I'm having here with it is t is equal to actually 3 by 2 hour that means this motion of the boat once it turns at this point and comes back and it meets to the rock this motion t is equal to 3 by 2 hour now once I got the value of t to be 3 by 2 hour from this equation I will have u into this is 3 by 2 this is 3 by 2 it is 3 must be equal to 12 or u that is the river speed is actually 4 kilometer per hour now for the question number 13 answer is 4 km per hour it is option 4 is the correct answer uh, now let's take on to question number 14 in question number 14 mm -hmm. the velocity of a particle moving in a positive direction of x axis varies as v is equal to 3 root x all quantities being in si unit at time t is equal to 0 the particle was at x equal to 0 then average velocity of the particle averaged over the time the particle takes to cover 4 meter is we need to find out the average velocity up to the time when the particle covers the 4 meter well the equation here is given as uh, v is equal to 3 root x that means if I solve this equation for the position I would say dx by dt that means it is root x must be equal to 3 dt integrating this part I will have 2 root x is equal to 3t at t is equal to 0 the particle was at 0 at general time t it would be at x or I will have here as 4 into x will be equal to 9t square or x is equal to 9 by 4t square if I compare this equation for constantly accelerated motion straight away I'll get the value of acceleration to be a is equal to 9 by 2 this is the value of acceleration now how much time it takes to cover the distance of 4 meter from here I'll have I'll put the value of x to be 4 then I'll get the t would be equal to 16 divide by 9 or it is 4 by 3 second is the time it will be taking so the distance here is 4 meter and the time it is being 4 by 3 seconds so average velocity is uh, the displacement here is 4 meter and the time is 4 into 3 that is 3 meter per second we are getting the correct answer as 3 meter per second that is the option 3 so for question number 14 option 3 is the correct answer now let's take on to question number 15 question number 15 is the value of integral 3 dx divided by 3x plus 4 evaluated from lower limit 0 to 2 i that has to be evaluated as 3 dx divided by 3x plus 4 from 0 to 2 I would say it is 3 this part is ln 3x plus 4 divided by 3 from 0 to 2 or the value of integral is by putting the value of 2 here I will have 6 plus 4 it is 10 ln 10 minus by putting the value of 0 here I will have ln 4 or clearly 10 by 4 that means it is ln 2.5 
this is the correct answer for the integral that means the, for the question number 15 option 2 is the correct answer now I'll be taking on to question number 16